Today we're going to show you how to install the NDS Speedy Channel Drain. A channel drain is an effective way to collect and direct surface water away from your home or property. Channel drains collect water over a large area, making them the perfect solution for water running off of your driveway, sidewalk, patio, or pool deck. Let's get started. In this particular residence, the homeowner wanted to prevent water from running off of the driveway and into the garage. A channel drain will be used to capture the water and direct it away from the house. The channel drain funnels water through pipes and eventually moves the water to a safe distance from the house. Before starting any kind of digging, be sure you know what's underneath the area to be dug up. In most areas, calling 811 will get you to the right folks who can come out and mark the location of the utility lines on your property as shown in this clip. You can also call the local utility to have them come out. Be sure to call cable, water, sewer, gas, storm, phone, and electric. NDS Speedy Channel Drains are available in 4 foot and 10 foot lengths to easily adapt to any job. Each channel has available accessories that easily connect to a variety of pipe types and sizes, such as end outlets, bottom outlets, 90s, and T's. This flexibility allows you to easily create a customized drainage system for your home. This particular installation is of the Speedy Channel Drain, but the same steps can be applied to NDS Mini Channel Drain. This installation involves the forming, pouring, and finishing of concrete. If you are not comfortable doing this, we recommend you contact a contractor to help with the installation. Now that you know where to safely dig, you're going to need a few tools. For this particular installation, we need the following. 10 foot speedy channel, speedy channel grates, speedy channel couplings, speedy channel end cap, speedy channel end outlet, stainless steel screws to secure the grate, screwdriver or drill, shovel to dig the hole, Pick to dig the trench for drain pipe. Tube of clear waterproof silicone. PVC glue. Hacksaw. Masking tape. Drain pipe. We recommend smooth wall PVC. Stakes and wood for concrete form. Concrete. Hammer and nails. Pliers and metal tie wire. Measuring tape and permanent marker sewer and drain elbow. Once we have determined where we are going to install the channel drain and drain pipe, we can start digging. If the channel is installed in an area where cars will be driving over it, you will need 4 inches of concrete on both sides and under the channel to support the load. If cars will not be driving over it, for example on a pool deck, you will only need 4 inches of concrete on each side. The trench for the channel drain needs to be as long and wide as the channel itself, plus 8 inches for concrete, and the depth needs to be as deep as the height of the channel, plus 4 inches of concrete. If the trench is being dug in an area where there is already concrete poured, a concrete saw will be required. You will also need to dig a trench for the drain pipe. Dig from where the channel drain will be installed to your desired discharge point. This will usually be the street or any other location that is permitted by your municipality. To ensure proper drainage, the trench should be dug such that the drain pipe will slope away from the channel at a minimum of 1% or 1 inch of fall for every 8 feet of pipe. You can rent a trenching machine at your local home improvement center to cut down on your digging time. Now that the trench is dug, you can build your concrete form allowing for the channel plus concrete. Forming, pouring, and finishing the concrete can be a lot of work. If you are not comfortable doing this, we recommend calling your local contractor for assistance. Now that the form is built and set in the trench, measure the length of the form to determine how much of the channel drain is needed. Lay out your channel drain, and using a marker, determine where to cut the channel to the required length. 
for this particular installation, we needed 16 total feet of the speedy channel, requiring us to cut off 4 feet of one of the channels. Using the hacksaw, cut the channel. Now that the channel drain is cut to the needed length, it is time to connect the pieces together. Using the speedy channel coupler, apply PVC glue to the inside of the coupler and slide the coupler onto the end of the channel. Repeat for the other side of the coupler and attach the other piece of channel. Now it is time to attach the end cap and end outlet. In this installation, we will drain the water from the end outlet. If you are draining from the bottom of the channel, a bottom outlet is also available. The end cap and end outlet are applied in the same fashion as the speedy channel couplers. Apply PVC glue to the inside of the end cap and slide the end cap onto the end of the channel. Next, apply PVC glue to the inside of the end outlet and slide it onto the end of the channel. Now it is time to install the channel. First, we have to install the grates. If the speedy channel is being installed in a hot climate, a 1 8 inch gap should be left in between each grate to allow for expansion of the grate in hot temperatures. To install, place the grate onto the channel. In this particular installation, we had to cut one grate to fit the required length. Mark the grate where it should be cut and cut with a hacksaw. Screw the grates onto the channel to secure in place. If the speedy channel drain is being installed in an area where cars will be driving over it, the top of the channel should be recessed 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch into the concrete so that the wheels of the cars hit the concrete instead of the top of the channel. To do this, place a 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch thick piece of wood on top of the channel. Using tie wire, secure the wood to the channel grate. Use the pliers to tighten the wire. Repeat this process along the length of the channel drain. Place a stake or piece of wood perpendicular to the length of the channel. Using tie wire, secure the stake to the channel by looping it under the piece of wood attached in the previous step and tighten with pliers. This stake or piece of wood is used to suspend the channel in the form while concrete is being poured. Cover the grate with tape to prevent concrete and other debris from getting into the channel while concrete is being poured. Carefully lift the channel and place it in the form. More than one person may be needed to lift the entire length of the channel. Measure around the channel to ensure that there is enough room for four inches of concrete around the perimeter of the channel. Adjust as necessary. Once the channel is correctly placed, secure the channel to prevent it from moving while the concrete is being poured. Now it is time to connect the drain pipe. Apply a bead of clear waterproof silicone around the drain pipe and insert into the end outlet of the speedy channel drain. Mix and pour concrete into the form to set the channel drain. Once concrete is poured, carefully remove the tape and wood that is suspending the channel. Smooth out concrete to desired finish. So there you have it. Installing a channel drain can be a lot of work, but will protect your property from future water damage. For more information on this or other NDS drainage products, check out our other videos or visit ndspro.com. Since 1975, NDS has been a leader in stormwater management solutions for the residential and non-residential market. For more information on our other stormwater drainage solutions and special offers, go to ndspro.com.